welcome to That New Mommy's Toy Reviews. First and foremost, I'd like to let you know, or inform you, as you can read in the disclosure below, that all of the reviews that I'll be doing for these toys, so they'll be reviewing four of them, they have been either bought by my partner, by me, or they have been gifts that my son has received from friends or family. Um, we have not received any of these products uh, from any of the companies, and I don't get paid for the reviews. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, I work as a part-time tutor, but technically I call myself a stay-at-home mom because I get to take my baby to work with me, and while I'm tutoring, I'm also watching him, so technically I'm still being a stay-at-home mom. Um, I've been a new mom for two years. I know some may not consider that as being new anymore, but to me, he, he's still my only baby, so I'm still a new mom. And the reason I'm doing these toy reviews is because when we had our baby, my partner and I, we just, you know, it's that, that new parent feeling where you just want to get anything and everything for your, your kid. Um, and we would see these things that we're the same, but we're also kind of different. He just likes anything that's fun. I usually like that. The, I prefer that the toy has more of, um, I don't know, something educational to it that maybe he can learn something from it or, or something that teaches him or develop some sort of, uh, develop a skill of, uh, of his, you know, cognitive or whatever. Um, so we would get our toys that we would both like. And sometimes when we got home and we started playing with the toy, we were like, oh, well, this really isn't this part kind of sucks so to you know to prevent other parents from going through that be their new parents old parents grandparents aunts uncles grand uh, godparents whatever um, I decided to create these like reviews just giving my honest opinion on them um yeah I think that's it so let's get started because I said I have four toys this is my first video um, on toy reviews so I just decided to give you four toys because it should go pretty quick that's it okay so the first toy we have is a Fisher Price is the Fisher Price busy conductor um, anyone that has a baby uh, boy or girl doesn't matter but anyone that has a baby or a child that likes Thomas what's his name now Thomas the tank Thomas the Thomas the train I mean, it's a thing about Thomas, I don't know if it's just liking Thomas. I mean, my kid is a freak, and so far, the kids that I've met that say, oh, we like Thomas, they're also freaks. I mean, just freaks. <laughs> Ridiculously freaks. <laughs> and um, this toy that he got, he got this toy as a gift. Now, the thing that I really liked about this was that that same week that he got this as a gift, my partner and I were talking about getting some sort of play steering wheel. Um, we don't have a car, we use public transportation, so once in a while we do get to borrow a car and the baby isn't really used to being in the car seat. So we thought, well, if we can get him a play steering wheel, that would be great. Um, it would make the car ride, you know, more fun for him and, you know, easier on us. So that same week we're discussing it later on, like a couple days later, he received this as a gift. Um, I think it's super cute. Um, oops, let me turn it off for a moment. Um, so as you see, uh, this is Thomas here at the top with the steering wheel. It also has this little lever, a whistle, the gauges. This one is just a label, it's just a sticker, but this one he can use. It's um, interactive. And the little walkie-talkie, you can't really see. I'm going to see if I can get that close. But it's a little walkie-talkie with, um, darn it, Top and Hat, with Mr. Top and Hat, uh, Mr. Top and Hat sticker. So I'm going to turn it on, just so that you can see. Now, Thomas here, you can, he can make, he or she, the baby, the child, can make Thomas move with the steering wheel. Hello, I'm Thomas. Super cute. Uh, the lever is to make him go slow. If you this is a bumpy track. Pull it down, or as you keep pushing it upwards or forwards, because the baby's fast. using it like this, he starts going quicker. My son loves this. He just I'm loves doing it all at the same time. Engine. Of course, the whistle is the best part of the train. And if you want Thomas to stop, 
just turn the gauge a little bit. We've arrived at the station. And if you need a message from Mr. Topham Hat. Hello, this is Sir Topham Hat. It's a very simple toy, but it is so entertaining for him. Um, he got this a while ago, and he still he still loves it. Um, this is the box. It said specifically for uh, not specifically, but the, um, the age range is from 18 months and over, and it does use two AA batteries. This one has, he's had it for a while, he uses it a lot and it still has the same AA battery so the batteries on this do last quite a bit. It's not much of a, uh, it doesn't really, oh how do you say, it doesn't really use up the batteries that much. Um, I have a little, you know you always have to, this is my partner's idea that you always have to have some sort of rating scale. So out of five cupcakes, no cupcakes is my thing. Um, he, this toy, <laughs> it's, uh, I'm sorry, not out of five cupcakes, out of the cupcake, this gets a cupcake with a frosting, which is about a four. Um, I really do like the toy a lot. It's something simple, but it is something that my son um, enjoys. He does walk away from it once in a while, but once he sees it, he'll, oh my god, he just does all of them at the same time, and I think your kid will will enjoy it also so okay so again this was the Fisher Price busy conductor if you are interested I am going to I am a stay-at-home mom so I am going to include the links Hello, in the description to the toys if you buy anything through any of the links that I post in any of my reviews um, these are gonna be Amazon links they're affiliate links they're not gonna charge you anymore for buying it through my link but um, they do give me a little something just because you bought it through my link so it's just a little help for a stay at home mom that's, that's how we do so let's just let me turn this off so we're gonna move on to the next toy okay so second toy as you can see no, I am not a loon. I'm doing the mommy thing here, but we're gonna go on because I really, I really want to get this video done and uploaded. I've been wanting to do this for a couple days now, and I just kept putting it off because I couldn't find time. But I'm like, no, I'm gonna make time. So this next toy that I want to review, I have the box right here. I just want you to take a look at it. It's the Fisher Price Barnyard Bingo Game. It's also going to be. In the uh, description, the link is going to be also in the description. Um, this this has a has a story. Um, okay, this we bought. I don't sure. I'm not sure. Oh yes, I was at Toys R Us and I had um, I had a gift card that I redeemed from my Bing Rewards from the Bing Rewards program. Link also in the bottom if you want to join. And I wanted to get him something. I didn't want to give him any training. I just wanted to get him something, something a little different, something new. I happen to love board games, so <laughs> I I love board games. So I wanted to get him his first sort of board game. It's not exactly a board game, but it was in the board game aisle, and I think it's super cute. So it's for two ages and older. It doesn't use any batteries, so that's a plus right there because you know batteries are always running out. Um, Barnyard Bingo Game. Fisher Price, my first game. Cute. I saw it. I loved it. I mean, it says you open the barn door, animal bingo chips appear. Then it has a little boing. as B O I N G right here. Let me see again. Gotta see again. Right? It's just right there. It has a little boing. So, from what I saw in the picture you know what I mean, right oh it makes a noise as the chips comes out and it says it has three game levels has these little um, it's like a little fence with the three animals and the little poker like chips but like deep that you would match up I thought it was an awesome game so then I turned it around to see and it has three game levels which this is is true it comes with a parent guide 
that tells you the different ways you can play the games. I mean, it's pretty. Sometimes people need a little, you know, a little assistance. They just have. Oh, let me see what I can do with this. But this does come with a parent guide that it tells you the different kinds of games that you can play with your kid and the barnyard bingo game. Um, obviously, you can. It says name the bingo chip colors and the animals make the animal sounds, or you can match pairs or a memory match. So, so far, so good, right? It says thinking and problem solving because it teaches color and shape recognition, sharing and cooperation, engaging for younger and older siblings to play together, and more. So this is, it sounds great. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so here is the little barnyard. I think it's super cute. Then it comes with these little four. It comes in blue yellow, red, and green. Now these are like sort of fence. See they're a fence shape and on this side you can't really tell. See it has that those raised circles. Those, um, the raised circles and all the raised circles, they have raised flowers. But if you turn it around, you have these circles with different animals on them. Each card has um, different animals. So like for instance, the blue has the cow, the pig, and the duck. The yellow has the duck, the um, sheep, the pig. So you know it has different different animals. Like the bingo cards are not the same. So the first thing that, um, well, when I opened it, the first thing that that I noticed is that the they don't come with the labels on them. You get two label sheets, and you get to put them on the fences and on the bingo chips, which. We had a great time doing that because I, I just like seeing him put the stickers on it and, and whatnot. Now when we started playing, I loaded up the barnyard with the chips and I'm waiting for this boing every time I open it. It's going to be a little difficult now because I have him with me. So let me see if I can bear with me. There is no... I don't know. I guess I don't know what I was expecting when I read boing. I thought maybe a an actual boing or something. I don't know if you hear it, but the sound is a, there you go, you heard it again, it's like, it's an, I don't know, I guess I expected a, a, a like a recording or something, or a boing, you know, but it's actual, it's an actual boing from a spring inside the barn. See if you can hear it again. You see? So at first I'm like, well, I can't really say it's anything against the game, because that was just my bet, I just, I don't know, I, I, when it went over, you know, I just imagined something else. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, it's no problem. But then it says for <laughs> two year olds and older, I don't know. I don't, I don't, and my kid is a two, it's, it's two when, you know, when we bought this, and um, <laughs> you know, he's a small kid or, or a normal sized kid. I don't know. Um, some people say he's kind of small for his age, other people say he's right for his age. What I don't know is what kind of strength a two-year-old is supposed to have because he tries to do this and, and you see the pressure that I had to put to get this out and he just can't. It's, it's very hard. So when we play, what we do is I open it up for him and then I sort of leave it just like that. So he can then open it up and get a chip out open it up and get another chip out. But there's no more boing. So the boing is only that when you close it, when you open it. So it's a little hard for kids. So that was something that I sort of didn't like about the game. Um, it was kind of like frustrating, but I'm like, well, anyways, he's not even listening to the boing anywhere. Anyway, so whatever. Another thing about this game, now this is... Is that bien? Ay, tú estás bien. Sí, sí. Dale. Vamos, ya estoy terminando. If, um, sorry. Another thing about this was that this is not really... I can't really say if it's the game itself or if it's the climate that I live in. I live on a tropical island, so it's very hot. Um, sometimes it's humid. I ended up mod podging the... the um, stickers onto the chips uh, we played we put it away and I think it was like a couple days later that we went to play again and the the chips are not completely circular 
middle of the heel. I don't know if you can see that towards the top and the bottom there's like a little I don't know like a little space there it's a cute shape um so they were lifting the edges were all lifting from the poker chips and that really sucked I mean actually um I thought well maybe I didn't stick them right so then I, I stick up I stick them I stuck them again and then I you know I kind of burnished them with my finger and with a um, this little burnishing tool that I have and <laughs> And so I thought, okay, they're fine. So then the next day I checked them and again, the edges were lifting. So then I just put it aside and I'm like, well, you know, I'll just glue them on. I'll mod podge, mod podge them. Does everyone else say mod podge? Um, but I mod podge them on. And unfortunately, when I, I, like I said, I took them out the next day to do that. But running around doing things, he was playing with them. And by then, he had already lost one of the stickers. So we have one of our chips sticker less which is okay but well at the moment it's okay because um, he has the other animals and we practice with the other animals we practice our colors and animal sounds so that's pretty cool but it was kind of a downer that the um, that the labels kept peeling off and that I had to actually sit down with the Mod Podge and then as I'm Mod Podging them um, they would just lift and I just had it was just a little bit of a hassle but I got them down I mean we have one animal which we have no idea what it is, but um, I don't know, I'll draw that in or, I don't know, whatever. Um, he likes playing with it anyways. Um, because of the little, uh, you see that? Because of the little hard lever, because of the uh, hard lever and the, I don't know, and the boing and the stickers and whatnot, I would actually give the Fisher Price Barnyard Bingo game a cupcake with no frosting. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Next toy. The next toy is the Little Tykes Discover Sounds Shape, Sort, and Scatter. Little Tykes Discover Sound, Shape, Sort, and Scatter. Okay, it's this Little Little Tykes Aquarium. Um, we got this also from... We got this also from the store. Um, it was actually they were having a buy one get one. Oh, I think it was buy one get one fifty percent off or something like that. Um, and so obviously, you know, you have to take advantage of, of those things. Um, again, we use the Bing Rewards, and I love this. I mean, it's we wanted a shape sorter. Um, we got this. Um, this is nine months and older. Um, we got this when he was around that age. Um, we wanted a shape sorter and I thought this was super cute because it has three different levels. So it's sort of a toy that will grow with him. It has um, one of the levels. There's a little star here. Let's see if we can do this. And you can see that there's a little star there at the bottom with a ring. Uh oh, this may be a pause. Okay, we're back. So it has the little star here and it has three different levels. Now the first level is a free play. It's basically where the baby just takes the block and I should just show you. Is it on? Oh, crap, it's on. Okay, that's the on. I also have it in Spanish. It comes with, you can either have it in English, Spanish, or French. So that's a major plus right there. This is a bilingual household. So at first we had it in English. I didn't even realize that I could change it to Spanish. Um, and I mean, not French, but I mean, you could change it to French, but I didn't. I'm not really interested at the moment to, for him to learn French. So I love that it has this English and Spanish. But then, you know, we decided, well, let's just start with the Spanish first. Um, oh, let, me just, let me just switch it to English. You know what? I can't see the button. I need to turn it over, and I'm having a little trouble, a little one-handed issue here. So anyways, you press the button to begin to start to power it on. We always have it on. It also has the on, the power button on the bottom. But it's sort of like a wake up. And then the second time, sh she'll tell you, you know, press the button to begin. So the second time you press the button and it's going to come down. Let's see. Okay, I have a little there. Hey, let's do that. 
Let's open, press it again so we can get that other one out. Okay, there we go. Usually this is on the floor with him so they all come spilling out. Right now I have it like on top of a, just so that you can, you can see it um, on top of a couple of boxes. So that's why I was kind of um, trying to catch them. Okay, so I love it. It's an aquarium. Now each of the blocks is, there are six blocks, each of them is a different color. A different shape and it's sort of like a different animal this one here is like a little octopus so what's great is that the free play they can just simply put in the shape this is a red heart clam and what she says is that is the red heart or this is a whale this is the blue block and so forth um, or the kid can put it towards up through the top. That's number three. Four. So once you get them all in, yay! So it's a super cute game. Now that is the first level. That's usually for babies, just you can help them learn their numbers, one through six, the colors or shapes. Um, the shapes are heart, star, circle, square, triangle, and octagon. <laughs> I, to count. I wasn't sure which one it was. The, if you turn it, it's really easy to turn. You just hold on to the base and you can just... Again, press the button to begin. Now, the second level, it's usually for kids that are a little older. They, they know their their colors and their shapes and she'll ask let's press the button again I'm just gonna let these fill out this one got stuck ask you to put it back in so she's asking for the orange clownfish I don't never La ballena azul. The blue whale. Now you can see. Oops, mommy pressed the button. Uh oh. I pressed the button. So she's asking for the blue whale again. Let's see what she's asking for. Blue whale. I keep pressing the button. I'm sorry. Toma. La ballena azul. Toma. Ay, ay. Perdóname. The circle's far away. It fell down that way, so we're not going to get that. But that is the second level. Now, the third level is for someone, uh, a kid that's a little older, that he knows the shapes, that he knows the colors. Um, because it's a race. So she'll count down, and you have to immediately put them in. It's super cool, but my kid, um, he's still learning so he doesn't really get to that level. He doesn't play that level. Um, I love the toy. The only issue I have with the toy is that when this is nine months and older. So when he was younger and he's trying to get the shape in, let me see if he lets go of the toy. Well you saw it's like an aquarium shape. So you have with the bowl at the top and then you have the stem and, and the base. So what happened was, okay, so we were saying that we have the bowl at the top with the stem and the uh, base. So he was little so what happened was that while he was trying to get, I don't want to hit the button, oh let me just press the button. So when he's trying to put the shape in, this, right now it's not stable, but he would sometimes have trouble getting it in, so I would have to hold it for him so that he can push it in. Because it is a little top heavy, 
Well, sometimes that became a little difficult for him when he was younger. Now he's a little older. Well, I mean, now he's a lot older. Um, you know, we got this when he was about nine, ten months old. He's already a two-year-old. So now he has the hang of it. He knows that he has to put his hand on top. But it does suck that the little kids really can't play with it that well because of that as they're pushing the shape and usually the one that has the most trouble that he used to have the most trouble was the octagon the triangle and the square actually that's half of them <laughs> no the square it was the octagon the triangle and the star um because he would have to turn a little bit more and just get it in there and it would just keep tipping backwards or forward so i would have to hold it for him so that kind of sucked um that was the only thing that I didn't like about the toy. I mean, I think it's such a great, it's such a great toy, and honestly, it, I don't think it can have any other sort of design because of because the bottom does fall down. So obviously, it needs this stem. But that's just that one little thing that it it's too top heavy for the young kids. They need someone to hold it steady for them. Um, I did read reviews before, and it did happen to me, that the bottom, it sort of stalls. And, and the, this did happen to us, and I was very upset. And it was, at least in my case, it was a super easy fix, and my partner was the one that thought of it. Oh, I see you. Um, <laughs> we just had to change the batteries comes with batteries, but, um, wait now I'm not sure if this one did come with batteries, but I know we had some batteries in it when we got it. Um, it just kills those batteries, so if you are going to give this as a gift, you may want to give, well, I don't know if you're, I like to, if something uses batteries, I like to give them batteries too, because nothing sucks more than a kid who opens up a toy and then is like, wait, no batteries, now I have to wait to use it. So, um, I do recommend giving batteries with it. But, um, you know, it was an easy fix. I saw that it was just going down really slow and it was stalling and it was just, it was horrible. And he's like, just, it sounds like it's dying, change the batteries. So then, you know, my lazy butt changed one battery and I got it working again. Um, but then a couple days later it started again so then I just took out all the batteries and I replaced it with fresh new batteries and it just works perfectly. It does use batteries like crazy. So that is... Bye. He's saying bye to his dad, doesn't want to see with that right now. Um, but it is a great game, a great toy. I mean we still, we still, oh god we've had this for over a year and it still works fine. I mean batteries. Um, so because of this little top heavy, you know, out of balance holding it thing, um, there's no cherry on top, but it does get a cupcake with frosting, which it's still good. It's still a good cupcake. Right, babe? All right. Next and last toy. Okay, the last toy I'll be reviewing is the Brilliant Basic Stack and Roll Cups. This is also from Fisher Price. Um, when we bought this, I, I just think it's so adorable. Um, I wanted a stacking toy for him and I love this one because it came with it, it came with the uh, little box package it came in. Um, it said that not only can he stack them but it, they also have numbers. They're also numbered so you have stacking, colors, numbers and then each couple these are uh, um, half circles, how many is it half spears? So each of one of them you can just each couple of them you can just match them up so you have like five different size balls. So I thought that was like oh that is so cute. So immediately we bought them and we brought them home to immediately start playing with them. This is his favorite part. This little yellow happy face. Happy face. Ball has little has three. I already checked inside. It's like these three little balls inside, which makes the uh, little jingly noise. And I believe this is the best part of the whole toy. So it's really not that expensive. It's really not that expensive. 
but when you're just enjoying this part, yeah, it, it, it's kind of pricey. It kind of blows big time. Um, we get us a No? Okay. So this is the thing. This is going to be a little difficult for me because I am one-handed still. But I just want you to see. And I'm not going to even say anything. Um, so you have your toy. I'm going to put this aside. Right there looking at me. Hello. Um, I have the little label here. Um, this was attached to the package. And uh, let's see if we can see this right there. You see how it has the little stacking just like I had it and over here is the little little baby hand. Right here is the little baby hand with the uh, ball and on the other side is the uh, little baby hand, you know, stacking the uh, circles upside down, you know, nesting them. That's what it is. There we go. So, you know, it's a, obviously it's a child toy. Um, package, I apologize, package says it is for 6 to 36 months of, of age. That's 6 months to um, 3 years. Uh, doesn't use battery, so that's an awesome plus right there. It has 10 stacking cups and the uh, ball. So, this is my issue lovely stacked. Let's unstack them. Yep. So, okay, a six month old. Okay, I mean, really? Let's unstack them. There we go. <laughs> That's number 10. Can't really tell because the number is raised. It's a little circle. There's a groove. There's a whole ridge. And then in the middle here, there's a groove with a circle and there you have a 10. I don't know if you can see that right there. Can't see it right. Same color, a 10. And you have the 9. Eight, seven. Then you have oh, crap. I'm not gonna say my age, obviously. Not six months old or three years of age. So there we go. I unstacked them. So let me just stack them again. I'm going to move this box because this is a flimsy box right here. I'm going to have this um, a sturdier box here. I'm sorry. So I have the hemisphere number one. And I'm going to stack two. Now, it's, it moves. Oh, crap. There. It moves because you have to kind of snap it in. So if you snap it in, there you go, you see that? Uh, where's the other one? And there we go. So now as you can see the problem here, right? If I were to just lightly put them on top, when, which is what happened, and he got so frustrated, he just threw the toy after a while, because if you put them lightly on top, they don't really fit as well. So what happens is they get a little wobbly and they'll fall off so he can never balance them, the little ball on top. So I would have to help him snap it in, which I mean it's ridiculous really. Um, so then, this is the part that he likes um, me to do for him. The ball goes inside. That one snapped in well. This one. Okay, now this has a trick to it. If it fits too perfectly, then it's the wrong way. You hear that snapping? So we're going to put this in here. If it fits too perfectly, it's the... Oh, crap, it came out. It's the wrong way. There we go. See if it's a little too good. You see? So we want to flip it over. Oh darn it, or was it like this? I don't know. No. Yeah, I was right. See, so if it's like this, that it fits perfectly, you have to flip it over. So it's kind of a little, I don't know if you can see there, that's kind of like, it fits here but not here. But that's how you want it because then you have to stamp the other side in. And you keep going like that. 
Okay, example. You keep going like that until you have the whole ball filled. And you can roll it, I mean, you can roll it around. I mean, your child can throw it. This is not going to open. To open it, The toy, it's, it's, the idea is awesome. I mean, when you look at the toy the first time around, you know, and you see it in the box, you're like, oh, this, this is great. My kid, my niece, my whatever, grandkid is going to love it. So that finally I have the ball built. And you can just roll it around. And you still hear the little jingle from the yellow ball inside, which is absolutely great. I really wish he was just... A little more active so that you can see he can take this apart. I mean it's to get it apart there we go it has a trick which no toy belonging to a six six month old should have any toy trick. Sometimes they get a little stuck so what I do is I stick my finger through this hole right here hold all the, all the way through to where I feel the ball hold it in get in and then just pull oh my God. or use my nails this is stupid I'm sorry I didn't want to use that word but it's true it's just horrible toy I don't I don't recommend it at all I mean oh just forget it little yellow ball is great once the ball is built it's also a nice toy um, it's hard to stack, even harder to open. I mean, you get a bitten cupcake. Sorry, but six month old? No, 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 no. So I don't even, I mean, this is probably discontinued or <laughs> it has to be discontinued or something because I don't, not good, not good at all. I mean, if you can sit there and, well, and play with them, well then yeah, of course, well, it's great. But sometimes they, well at least he likes to play alone sometimes. And, and he can, he gets frustrated, he just throws it. And if he's not going to even pay attention to it, then it's just a waste of money, in, in my opinion. So, those are your four toys. Remember, in case you want to buy, you can help a mommy out. Um, I will see you guys next time. I love the hair. This is, he has this one here. But um, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.